Hey everyone, it is Robbie here with Muddy Beards 4x4 and today I'm going to be installing these chromoly axle shafts by USA Standard Gear into my 1999 Jeep Cherokee XJ. Now USA Standard Gear is probably one of the most affordable chromoly axle shaft kits that you can get for really any application and this kit comes with everything that you're going to need. It comes with the outer axles, the inner axles, comes with Spicer U-joints and for those of you who are running the older style Dana 30 with the CAD two-piece axles, it even comes with a block off plate and new axle seal. So it has everything you're going to need to do to make this upgrade. Now, I did a little research about USA Standard Gear. USA Standard Gear is part of Yukon. And essentially what they are is they are Yukon axles. They're made in the same plant, same factory, same materials, all that stuff. But they're actually downgraded from Yukon because they did not quite meet some sort of standard, some sort of spec. Um, and that could be anything from... A slight variation in splines it could be anything from a slight variation in the ears for where the u-joint caps go in um, but the thing about it is is that they're still held up to a high quality control they're still made with good quality materials and they still come with a warranty so I'm excited to get these things installed and see how they hold up so let's get to the installation all right, well, the first step in our installation is actually to assemble our actual shafts by using the provided 5x760 Spicer U-joint into our inner and outer axle shafts. Now to do this job, I don't have any special way. I don't have a U-joint press or anything, so I just do it the old school way with just a hammer. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the caps, being careful to not misplace or getting any debris inside the needle bearings and making sure the needle bearings all stay in place. I like to start with the outer act or the inner axle shaft first because it's long and it's harder to manipulate. Just simply going to slide in the cross of the U-joint so that it fits in. Simply take one of my bearing caps, making sure that the needle bearings stay in place. Put it up against a hard surface here. And install it into the cap. Now that I have the one side installed, I'm going to turn it the other direction, place the cap on again, and again tap on the axle, not on the bearing cap. Alright, and you will know when the caps are fully seated, when the provided clips snap into place. Just like that. Now it's time to do the other side with the outer axle. Now in order to install these on the vehicle, the first thing I'm going to need to do is remove the cotter pin and loosen up the axle nut with a 36mm bolt while it's still on the ground because they can be pretty tight. And once that is done, I need to jack up the vehicle and secure it and remove the tires. Now with the tire off, I need to fully loosen the axle nut, remove the brakes because I think it's easier, and then I gotta loosen the three 13 mil 12 point uh, bolts that hold on the knuckle, and I should be able to slide the whole old axle out. All 
right, well installation is pretty straightforward. I'm just going to take my new shaft, I'm just going to slide it in, being careful to try to get in as straight as possible so I don't mess up the actual, the actual seals. I should say, this would be a very good time to swap fluids and change the seals, um, especially since they even provide you with new axle seals, but seeing how I literally just did that, I did fluids and I did seals, um, I'm not going to worry about that. I don't seem to have any leaks, so I'm just going to go ahead and get my new axles installed. Just like that. So now I can go ahead and start putting everything back together. Jeep back on all fours, took it for a test drive just to make sure everything was working correctly, and um, I'm super, super excited to have this upgrade. You know, sometimes when you really think about it, some of the best upgrades you can do are ones you can't necessarily see, um, and these chromoly axle shafts are just that, you know. It might not be something like two fenders or bigger tires or a lift or a really cool bumper, um, but the effectiveness and the reliability of the rig um, is there and I think bang for buck. This is one of those upgrades. I think I'm really 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 gonna need um, And so I'm excited for that. So um, One of the things I was researching when I was looking at this is the you know the difference between the chromoly shaft and the stock carbon steel and most companies um, Advertise anywhere between 30 to 40 percent increase in tensile strength, which is considerable um, These chromoly shafts are considerably harder um, and they use a better material and so they're just stronger and so I really, really hope that I'm not going to have any of those common issues that the stock Dana 30 shafts have of, you know, stripping the splines or, you know, most commonly, you know, hobbling out or breaking or bending the ears around the U-joint. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that anymore, so I'm pretty excited. Um, I do want to address one thing because I know inevitably I'm going to get this question. You know, well, now that I've upgraded the shafts, isn't the weakest part about my Dana 30 the ring and pinion? It might be true, um, but I'm not too concerned with it. You know, this is a high pinion axle, the reverse cut gears. I've only got the stock four liter in here. It just doesn't make, you know, that much power. I just don't think I'm gonna have an issue of breaking the ring and pinion, um, but I guess we'll find out. Only time will tell. So I gotta get this thing out on the trail um, and test these things out um, and know that I have the peace of mind of having chromaly shafts, I think is a big deal, um, especially on those long trips where you get really far, you know, out there in the woods or really far away from your trailer. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, um, if you have any experience with chromoly shafts in your Dana 30, comment below. I'd like to know what you got to say. I'd like to know what your opinion is um, and your experience. If you are a big fan of Muddy Beards 4x4, please go check the link out in the description below the video and go to our store, check out some of this really cool Muddy Beard swag that we have, like this trail plug shirt. Got awesome stuff there, check it out. Uh, maybe get your shirt or a sticker or something like that. We would really appreciate it. So until next time, We'll see you on the trail.